Welcome back to Harvest Moon Save the Homeland. We are starting the Endangered Weasel storyline today, which is Gwen's storyline. I'm kind of, I guess, not really looking forward to this one as much because Gwen has an attitude and she isn't the most friendliest character to interact with, so... <laughs> Yeah, not really looking forward to this one as much as some of the other storylines that we have done. My favourite so far, as I've mentioned, is the cake contest storyline, which we did in the last episode, which was really good. I really love that one. But we have seen this cutscene before. It's when the harvest sprites come to our house. Wah! <laughs> Those silly harvest sprites. What are they up to this time? Help! It's okay. You're fine. I'll protect you. <laughs> you cute little guy. Something white and violent is picking on us. A weird creature's attacking us. But yeah, we're just doing this cutscene as a refresher, really, um, so that we can kind of get an idea of what this storyline is about. We're going to be eaten. Don't worry, my little miniature friends. I'll save you. I'm going to be at the first one eaten. I just know it. Please, please get him for us. Okay, uh, beat him up hard. God, <laughs> it always feels really weird when they say that in like a Harvest Moon game. <laughs> we can't walk through the forest safely anymore. I'll hold your hand. We're going to the Harvest Goddess Lake now. Okay, so yeah, obviously we are going to be befriending Gwen. That's going to be like our main objective. It doesn't actually look like there are many other characters that are involved in this quest line either. I think it's literally just like Gwen, I think anyway. So yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. Doesn't he look really mean? Get him. He's so cute. I wish we could have the weasel as a pet. That would be so cool. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I'm just observing this cute little creature. What do you think you're doing, Gwen? Weren't you just trying to catch him? You'd better have a good excuse or else. She's so just like n not friendly like at all. <laughs> I didn't know you were the kind who would be cruel to animals. But I'm not. I've got so many animals and I look after them very well. I only have killed one chicken and that's it, okay? God. But that was in a different ending, so nobody knows about that, so it's fine. <laughs> oh no, this is bad. Big Sis caught him in the act. No, she didn't. Who knew that mean creature was Big Sis's pet? No wonder he's so violent. This cutscene is so weird. <laughs> but I guess we must save our furry friend, our little weasel buddy. This is Snowball. Isn't he cute? He's a really rare species of weasel, and there are only a few of these left. Right, so we gotta protect them. So don't you dare do something funny to him. I'm a good farmer. I didn't do nothing to no one. <laughs> oh my god, I've got an idea. Let's let everyone know that Snowball lives here. Okay, so yeah, it's kind of like really similar to the other endings as well of the other endangered species, I guess. It's just like slightly different. I still want to do it though, because I want to get all the, the endings, I want to get all the stamps, that would be cool, and then I can officially say that I did everything in the game. <laughs> so yeah, it'll be worth it for that, I think. Once they know this area is home to an endangered species, they're going to want to save this land because of it. Right, makes sense. Yay, goddess, you're a genius! Only sometimes. Only when she's feeling in a good mood. <laughs> do, do we have to catch him? We just need a picture of him, right? That's right, so get to work. Put your back into it, you silly old farmer. <laughs> Go ask that girl to help you. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> she's mean, she picks on me. <laughs> Maybe she'll warm up to us after we like give her gifts and stuff. Oh, I'm so scared. It'll be okay, dude. What are we going to do? 
If there's a will, there's a way. We have to pray that Big Sis won't get mad. <laughs> it's kind of cute that they call her Big Sis. I like that. Okay, so now it's time to work on the next cutscene. Alright, what do I have to do next? So according to my notes, I have to speak to the Harvest Goddess. I have to talk to some townspeople and keep befriending Gwen. And then she will like uh, visit our farm one morning. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm just going to do my daily chores for the day. Here you go, dog. Have a flower. It's delicious and nutritious, I swear. Just don't eat the petals because they're really bad for you. <laughs> I don't even know, I'm just talking rubbish right now. <laughs> I just like, I, I guess I just like, you know, I do the same thing in this game every day. And I do like the repetitive nature of Harvest Moon, I really do. But I guess this game's pacing really, really like annoys me sometimes. Um, So I guess I kind of have to talk to myself and uh, say weird things to keep my sanity sometimes. <laughs> I do like the journey though, for sure. I do like being able to uh, like expand my farm and stuff. I just wish there was more to buy. Oh, look, a golden egg. <laughs> the first chicken I picked up as well. So that's nice. Yeah, um, I am actually milking my cows right now. I wouldn't normally, but because Gwen loves golden milk, I have definitely been, been doing that. So it's worth it for that. So we're going to want to go and talk to the harvest goddess apparently some townspeople as well i'm not entirely sure why but let's try i guess maybe they say something hey okay i haven't introduced myself to joe <laughs> i get lazy with the introductions because it's just like the same thing all the time so i don't know i don't know if any of the townspeople will actually like say anything about the weasel i've got no idea i probably haven't introduced myself to like anyone who are you yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, maybe I should just skip talking to the townspeople because I don't think they're really going to say anything. But we will definitely call upon the Harvest Goddess. Actually, we should do Gwen first before she leaves the house because then I'll have like a much harder time tracking her down. So we'll do this. We get busier right before the rainy season. We get asked to fix fences and leaky roofs. Right. I mean, I guess I don't really have too much work considering the homeland is supposed to be destroyed, right? Here you go, have some golden milk. I'm actually running out of golden milk as well, so that kind of sucks a little bit, but it is what it is. Okay, so how many of these have I got now? I've got just two golden milks left, so I'm just gonna have to pray that I get lucky when I milk my cows, that I get a couple more, otherwise I'm gonna have to change the gift um, for like what I give to Gwen, but it's fine, it just means it won't be as fast to increase her affection. Okay, I think this is the introduction scene for the Harvest Sprites again. Modi, yeah, I think this is the Harvest Sprites telling us how to summon the Harvest goddess like we have every time we start an ending so we don't need to view that one we are gonna summon her and just see if she has like any dialogue relating to the storyline that would be nice so let's try this out i don't think it matters what we throw in there i'm just gonna throw a flower in there or something there we go awesome you want to make a wish i can't change the weather for you oh she just talks about wishes so not entirely let's just go girl okay i'll make a girl like you more <laughs> hopefully she made gwen like us more but it's random it's completely random so we'll have to see i i think someone's affection rate went up i think what do you mean you think <laughs> Well, if you're a man, you should go up and talk to her uh, yourself. Okay, don't be mad. Jeez. All right, I'll give her something that she likes. She likes vegetables. So let's give her some corn. There you go. Let's see if she says anything. I just love vegetables. Okay, so I guess that's it. Like, it doesn't look like she has anything to say. I don't know why my guide says to talk to the harvest goddess. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there's like more I've got to do. I'm not sure. I think I just have to keep befriending Gwen now. Just wake up every day, give her a golden milk, and then just like wait for her to turn up at my farm for the next cutscene. I guess. So we're going to move ahead to that. I think that would be a good idea.
Oh, Gwen visited literally the next day, so I didn't really have to wait around too much. I thought it was going to take like a week, but apparently not, so that's good. I think there is a lot of waiting in between some of the cutscenes though. I guess it just depends on your affection rate, but I guess my affection rate was pretty good, as I have been giving her golden milk like every day. I want to ask you about Snowball, okay? What do you want to ask me exactly? Maybe she's here to finally like clear up all the misunderstandings that she has had about us because we really wasn't going to do anything to the little weasel in the first place. <laughs> what you want to take a picture of him i can't let you do that why it's just a harmless picture it's not gonna do anything to it there are so many bad guys out there who would try to catch him and make money off of him i suppose maybe there'd be like some poaching or something going on maybe it's a bit of a long stretch though but if we don't save the homeland the weasel is going to lose his home, so it's kind of like a weird situation. I can see what she's getting at, but I'm not really sure if I agree with her on this one. <laughs> well, yeah, I know that Snowball and his friend will have no place to go if they take away this land. Exactly, so let's do something about it. But that's like exploiting him, isn't it? I don't want to do that. I can see where she's coming from, really. I guess she doesn't want her little buddy to be exposed. We gotta expose him to the masses. I know what you mean. I can understand that this is one way that we can protect Snowball, but I can't agree to it straight away, sorry. She needs time to think about it, oh boy. How much time are we talking here, girl? <laughs> I would like to help. Okay. Oh, this changed pretty, pretty quick. But it just feels like we're exploiting Snowball. You've already said that. Give me some time to think. Okay. I can do that. I'll come back when I've made up my mind. Okay, this might be the moment where we have to wait like a week or something. The harvest sprites are here. Hey, look at those cute little guys. Big Sis doesn't know what to do. I guess it's not easy being an endangered animal. I guess not, <laughs> says the harvest sprites, which, you know, I feel like the harvest sprites are endangered sprites? Humans? Animals? I don't know what they are. <laughs> It's a good thing nobody can see us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They'd all try and take pictures of you guys and exploit the harvest sprites as well. I can just imagine it already. Okay, there we go. Now we're in another waiting game, I think. Let's see when the next cutscene is. I think this is the part where we have to wait a week and then she'll turn up at the farm again. Like, she needs a week to, like, think this over. <laughs> She needs time to decide whether or not she really wants to go through with exploiting this poor weasel to the masses. You know, I'm sure the weasel would be fine. Maybe he would get famous. Like, there there are some, like, animals that are, like, really famous, right? I can't think of any off the top of my head, but there's been famous dogs and tons of different, like, animals that are in the spotlight and are well-loved. So maybe that would happen to the weasel. I got so many golden milks there i got five now yay <laughs> i feel like i got really lucky that time so that was really cool i'm gonna keep befriending gwen i don't know if we need to because i might have like already maxed her out i've probably given her about 20 golden milks at this point so i just would assume that she loves me quite a lot but i'm just gonna keep doing it just in case because there'd be nothing worse than waiting a week and then finding out that she's not visited because she doesn't love me enough right where did she go she's gone no it's gonna be a pain to track her down usually if she's not in the carpenter's house she's by the ranch you know where bob is and where we do our part-time work she's sometimes standing around 
like in that area so I could probably find her there I'm just gonna give her a golden milk and then I'm just gonna snooze the week away <laughs> and hope that I can get more cutscenes that's the thing with like the point of the game that we're at there's just nothing else to do so we're just gonna work on the storyline and that's basically it so I think down this way she hopefully will be down here I'm gonna be very upset if she's not but she usually is there she is kind of hoping she has a bit of dialogue as well there are lots of animals in the forest but often you won't be able to see them they're hiding that makes sense right okay so let's give her a golden milk there you go enjoy wow this is golden milk thanks a lot you're welcome see ya Moni. see ya i wish they had like more than one dialogue line like the dialogue in this game is absolutely pants <laughs> so bad <laughs> I just feel so disappointed every time I talk to them. Sometimes they do talk about the storyline, which is nice, but yeah, the dialogue is so lacking in this game. It's really like, I think it's like more noticeable for me because I just came from playing Harvest Moon 64 and there's so many dialogue lines in that game. I spent so many hours just reading their dialogue lines because it was just so varied and I absolutely love how much there was to find. It made the characters really interesting and there was like so much backstory like hidden away for me to find and I really loved that so coming from that to this I think that the dialogue is a huge disappointment in comparison so yeah that really sucks but uh, maybe they improved it in Hero of Leafa Valley so yeah I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and then just like hope that when we play Hero of Leafa Valley there's like a major improvement so we'll just see see what happens when we play that one but yeah I'm gonna gonna speed ahead now probably need to skip ahead about a week for the next part so we are gonna do that just putting my animals away since it's raining all oh, right she's back Gwen has returned and she's brought a giant camera so I guess she's changed her mind that was not a week that I had to wait by the way it was a couple of days so I'm surprised that um my guide has like said that you have to wait for longer periods of time that I have actually had to wait so that's a good thing a really good thing <laughs> it means that we might like if it continues at this pace maybe we'll be able to do the whole storyline in one episode like we did with the the cake contest that would be awesome but we'll just see it's about snowball i think we should take action you think so she changed her mind really quickly and i had lewis make a camera so why don't we go tonight Ooh, okay i'm down with that okay i'll see you at the harvest goddess lake at around seven o'clock Okay, so are we gonna go ahead and take the picture like right now? This has moved along way faster than I expected actually. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that you don't have to wait a massive amount of time like, you know, to continue the next part of the story. So <laughs> that's awesome. All right then, seven o'clock. That's gonna be quite a wait though. So I'm probably just gonna be hanging around until seven o'clock. <laughs> I literally have nothing to do until that time so yeah just gonna put my animals outside and just waste time just standing around and looking pretty I guess <laughs> I don't know. I've got no idea but yeah we're gonna take a picture of the weasel that'd be awesome and then I don't know like I don't think there's much more to it than that right you just take the picture of the weasel and homeland is saved it sounds really simple and easy right but that's okay we're gonna get a cool stamp for doing so so yeah I'm looking forward to that okay so let's go through here I don't think we have any like mini games or anything like that for this one either I really like the storylines that have like mini games like the what was it the bluebird or was it the azure swallowtail i think it was the bluebird ending wasn't it that one had a cool little mini game where you played a flute and there are other mini games but sadly this one doesn't really have any but i like it when they do little mini games they're cool all right time to get my cows outside sometimes i like talk to both of them doing both at the same time it's a little bit awkward doing it though like trying to move both out at the same time but it's definitely possible to just 
pushed me, you silly cows. All right, no, 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 no. See, it's so easy to like accidentally like push it the wrong way, but I'm getting the hang of it. There we go, done and dusted. Now to wait until seven o'clock basically. So yeah, let's do that. Just out of curiosity, because I'm kind of bored, I wonder, what do you think would happen if I used a sickle on my cow? Oh, <laughs> he just runs away. Okay, is he is he mad now? Moon, you look a little down today. <laughs> it makes them very mad and angry. <laughs> I have angry cow. What if I use the hoe on him? Okay, it does the same thing. <laughs> Bullying my animals out of boredom. <laughs> You look down today, Moo. I'm sorry. He might be sick tomorrow because I did that, but you know what? It was worth it. <laughs> now I feel bad, actually. <laughs> it's fine. I got my milk from him before I tormented him. <laughs> before I caused him chaos. I knew that this was a thing that happened in like some Harvest Moon games, and I was just wondering if it was a thing in this one, basically. Got some golden milk again. I seem to get golden milk like almost every day at this point. I feel quite lucky actually. You'd better not have forgotten tonight at the Harvest Goddess Lake. Alright, alright, I just came to give you some golden milk. I won't forget. I don't know why I went into my menu to do that. I've got no idea. <laughs> Could have used my hotkeys, but never mind. There you go. Okay, yeah. We're, we're going to wait until 7 o'clock. For real this time. Alright, I think it's time to take the picture of the weasel. Let's do it. It gets so creepy at night time when all the music goes off. But I think we're ready, right? Let's see if we can catch this weasel. What if he doesn't show up? <laughs> Hopefully he does. Over here. Come this way. Okay, let's do this. We got our big fat camera. I love how old school the camera is in this game. <laughs> So you never see cameras like that anymore. It's so quiet. I wonder if he'll come out tonight. I hope so. After all the effort that we've put in to come here. So <laughs> we'll just have to see if he pops his little head out today. Alright, let's see. Let's hope that this camera is like good quality. So yeah, that would be nice. We can get a nice picture. Maybe I don't really want him to come. Maybe my heart's not really set. Oh, don't say that, Gwen. We're here now. <laughs> you must have thought it was a good idea, otherwise you wouldn't have come. I mean, using something to gain something, I don't know if that's the right thing to do. I still don't know what to do. Bless her. I guess it's kind of sweet that, you know, she's not fully confident and she's really thinking about what's best for this little weasel. She really is an animal lover through and through and you can definitely see that. I think that she's a bit on the extreme side though, a little bit anyway. It looks like he's not coming today. He's probably being wary. Is he really not coming? We should go home. What? <laughs> That's so disappointing. Did he really not? I was joking, I thought he would still turn up. <laughs> well, really? That sucks. All that for nothing? Ugh, well, it wasn't for nothing because I had to do that cutscene to proceed, so... It just seems a bit disappointing, that's all. Listen, I don't think it's good to question what you're doing. I mean, isn't it worse to take an action, even though you know you might be wrong, than to do something that you believe is right, even though it's wrong? What? That was like the most confusing sentence ever. <laughs> okay then. Sorry, that didn't make any sense, did it? No, not really. That really confused me. Like, the way you worded that was, like, so bad that it was confusing. I'm sure that there was a better way to word that that would make a lot more sense. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Okay, maybe it's a translation thing, but that was really hard to wrap my head around. <laughs> Okay, so that was a big fat fail. I guess we just gotta wait until Gwen decides to turn up at our farm again. Let's just like see if she turns up the next day, although I doubt it. We're probably gonna have to wait at least a couple of days, right? Is it? Oh, it's raining. She definitely won't turn up because it's raining. <laughs> Sad. Okay. Uh, I'm still thinking about Snowball. Give me some time to think. I, I am. <laughs> I've given you loads of time. I mean, it's been raining ever since the cutscene, so she hasn't actually had an opportunity to 
like come to my farm because cutscenes just don't happen on rainy days sadly i wish that they did but sadly that's not a thing but i think we're getting there slowly all right the first sunny day that you know i managed to get and here she is <laughs> i feel like the cutscenes are really fast with this one which is awesome because usually the endings take me like a whole night to finish I usually start recording quite late at night, uh, I usually only record at night time and I usually have, let's see, depending on how early I start, I usually have like maybe four, maybe five hours, I think it's rare for five hours to record, <laughs> but that's how long the endings usually take me, of course I cut most of that out and make it a lot shorter because I'm just basically doing the same thing and it's kind of boring, but this one is going really fast, it's a really fast paced ending actually and I think I'm probably gonna finish it in like an hour or so so <laughs> that's pretty awesome but we'll see hey i thought about snowball well i'll do it let's go take some pictures yeah hey i'll be waiting for you at the harvest goddess lake at 7 p.m tonight okay so we're doing the same thing again but hopefully this time we'll be able to actually get the shot that we're after so we're gonna have to wait until seven o'clock again <laughs> sadly that's okay i'm just gonna get my animals out and then I'm just going to be waiting, doing the waiting game again. There's so much waiting in this game, I know, but I don't think this one's as bad. Like, I'm really surprised at actually how fast Gwen has actually triggered her cutscenes because on my guide it says I have to wait like a week in between each one. And that hasn't been the case for me. It's been like a couple of days. So it's definitely, it definitely must be like affection based and I must have like been doing really well. I'm guessing it's because of all the golden milk and it just boosted her like really quickly compared to normal, I suppose. So favorite gifts really do speed this up. So I I think like in future I'm definitely gonna like search the internet and hunt down like the very best gift to give each girl because it really does make things a lot faster it seems so that's nice all right time to get all the animals out I'm just gonna get all of them <laughs> they're all gonna come to the door together it's gonna be crazy all right here we go all come to the door let's uh, see if we can push them all out in one go <laughs> I wonder if this is possible. Stop pushing me. God, <laughs> I'm meant to be pushing you guys out, <laughs> not the other way. <laughs> oh, God. This is gonna be just absolute chaos, I think. All right, out you go. <laughs> okay, I think I got this. I got this. Yeah, I am a master at herding my animals outside at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go see if we can get a golden milk this time let's see oh wrong one i always get mixed up uh with the uh, what button it is for the item list because they're like very similar they're like in, like a similar button <laughs> confuses me sometimes there we go i got a golden milk also by the way when i hit my animals with the uh, the scythe and the uh, hoe it didn't actually make my animals sick so there's not really a whole lot of repercussions for that it does make them upset I guess um, so I guess they would stop giving you milk for the day if you did it beforehand before milking them but they're basically back to normal the next day so it's not really like a big thing or anything it's not really that big of a deal all right it's finally time to go to the harvest goddess pond and take this picture hopefully he turns up this time come on damn weasel <laughs> I know you want to show yourself this time so hopefully we get a good picture that'd be awesome and then that's it like the ending will roll I think after we get this picture over here multi all right let's do this I hope that Gwen is prepared <laughs> let's hope so anyways all right anything we're not the ones to decide what's good or bad for snowball right Hmm, I guess she thinks like we're playing God or something. I don't know. After all, I don't know how Snowball feels, so I decided to be true to my own feelings. I know it's selfish of me, but... Hmm. Okay, are we taking this picture or not, Gwen? You still seem undecided. <laughs> like, my God. <laughs> you need to make up your mind, girl. 
Dante, is he gonna come or not? I mean, I guess that could be the deciding factor. There he is! It's Snowball! Yay! He's finally appeared! <laughs> right on cue, little guy. Let's snap this shot and hightail it out of here. Do you think he will sit still long enough? I hope so. Oh, that was good. That was a good shot. Awesome. You scared him away. But that's all right. And Gwen took the picture herself. Oh, did we get a good shot? I think she said I accidentally skipped a little too fast there. <laughs> but I'm sure we did get a good picture with her ginormous camera that's like almost the size of her. I'm sorry. Oh, don't feel bad. We're saving the homeland. <laughs> Everything's gonna be great and fantastic. I'm sure of it. Okay, so now that's done, all we have to do is, I think, wait a week. But, you know, this, this storyline has been moving ahead faster than I expected. So let's just try and, like, sleep a day and see if it triggers, like, tomorrow. I don't know if it'll be that fast, though, but we'll see. No. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to wait, like, a week. I think for this part, I think for this part, we definitely do have to wait a week. Usually the last cutscene does take a week to appear. So yeah, I'm going to wait a little bit and the ending should happen, I think. So yeah, we've taken the picture already. So we got now, now got a picture of the endangered weasel. So that should be enough to actually save the homeland. I'm not quite sure how good of an ending this is going to be because Gwen just doesn't seem very happy happy about this whole thing so we'll have to see how it goes i'm just gonna feed my dog every day and go to sleep every day until i get this cutscene. basically it's gonna be an easy one i think just hope that it doesn't rain is this it i think this is it yeah mosey <laughs> this was a really like quick one to do i'm really surprised actually we sent Gwen's picture to the publisher. How did it go? Did we do it? Have we saved the homeland again? That weasel really was an endangered animal, so they're talking about preserving this land now. Woohoo! We did it again! <laughs> awesome! I'm looking forward to getting a, another profile for one of the characters. It's probably just going to be Gwen. This is like, there wasn't really anyone else involved in this cutscene apart from Lewis and Nick Knack and Flack, but we already have their profiles, so this is definitely just going to be Gwen, I think. I guess this is good, right? Right! I don't know why you're still uncertain. <laughs> Snowball can go on living under their protect protection. Alright, cool. Well, if it's protected, then what are we worried about? <laughs> and we're allowed to stay here, but it still doesn't feel completely right. Oh, Gwen. <laughs> you can never please Gwen, it seems. She's a hard lady to please. <laughs> so, that sucks. Are we gonna get a kiss scene? I hope that we get one like we had with like Katie because like that was really cute and I was kind of hoping so since this is like I think Gwen's main storyline although she is involved in the horse race storyline so maybe she'd be a bit happier in that one and give us a smooch in that one instead I don't know <laughs> hopefully because you know is he really going to be happy being protected by humans why wouldn't he what <laughs> I don't know. Wouldn't he be happy being protected by anything? I mean, I'm happy that Snowball can go on living here, but... Gosh, she's so depressing, isn't she? Just be a bit happy. We saved your friend Snowball. <laughs> be merry. We saved the homeland. This is an achievement. What? We didn't protect him nor exploit him? Exactly. How are we going to convince her of that, though? I don't know. I like how she's got a big question mark on her boot. <laughs> I only just noticed that. I guess, like, the camera angle of it. She's got a big question mark. I guess it just, you know, sums up this character. She doesn't know what she's doing. She doesn't know if she's coming or going. <laughs> I think I know what you mean. Do you? I don't know. Just like how little Snowball's going to live his life to the fullest, we should live our lives to the fullest too. Yeah. Alright, did we finally convince her? That was a nightmare. Can you imagine marrying this girl? All she would do is moan and whinge, I swear. I think Gwen would be like the worst wife. <laughs> She would just be like moaning and nagging all the time, I think. But yeah, that was it. That was super fast. I'm actually glad that it was because like, yeah, like I said, I'm not 
a massive fan of Gwen's character. She's very antisocial. She's kind of like Grey, but worse. She's like a worse version of Grey from Mineral Town. If I'm being honest, I love Grey in Mineral Town, but this just seems like a female worse version of Grey, sadly. She's just too annoying. I just find her annoying. I don't know why. I just, I just do. It's a shame we didn't get a kiss scene though. It's a shame we didn't get like a single smidgen of romance. We did with Katie, so why not with Gwen? It's a bit weird because Katie is only 16 and we got romance with her. Gwen is in normal age and we got no romance. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> Sad times. Maybe she's too mature for that or something. I don't know. Maybe she just didn't see us that way. She was more in love with the weasel than us. Yeah, I don't know. I find that the most disappointing ending out of all the ones we've done so far. It was just so short as well and just nothing really to it, I guess. Just didn't really enjoy it as much as the others. I guess if I look back at the other endings, I liked the fishy storyline because I actually quite liked Joe's character. And I think that that really helps in completing the fishy storyline it was also the very first storyline and I had lots to do so I think I enjoyed it for that because like I was getting money for house upgrades and stuff the Azor Swallowtail had a reference to Harvest Moon 64 so I think I really enjoyed that one for the reference although it was kind of slow the Bluebird ending had a really cool mini game in that I really enjoyed and the cake contest had Katie and I love Katie and I loved her her cutscenes so yeah like I think that's probably like I enjoyed something from each of those storylines this one I didn't really feel that there was anything in particular that I really enjoyed <laughs> I just wanted to do it just so that you know I get the stamp in the profile and stuff but it is what it is I suppose oh we have something here what what is this bonus cutscene I wonder it's not possible to live without regrets, is it? Mm, probably not. I don't really know. She's really depressing, isn't she? I mean, who's to decide what's right and wrong? Everyone has a different way of thinking, right? That's true. You're not wrong there, girl. <laughs> she talks sense sometimes, so that's good. You just have to go on living, even though you might make mistakes, right? Is she having an epiphany or something? <laughs> but I think that's a lot better than regretting that you didn't do anything in the end. I see. I love how we're just looking out over the farm and I can just see, I just saw like a little glimpse of my like dead crops. <laughs> what a romantic view we've got here, Gwen. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. I feel better now. Well, that's good. <laughs> what about me? I don't feel better. <laughs> At least give us a hug or something. Um, so, thanks. Hey, could you bend down for a second? Um, okay. Are we, like, that much taller than her? We look like the same height, but okay. So what I mean is, I probably wouldn't have done anything if you didn't talk to me, Multi. I would have just sat around being worried. Hmm. So this is like a gesture of appreciation. She's blushing. Oh, maybe we get some romance after all. Just stay down. <laughs> what? She's talking to me like I'm a dog or something. Sit, roll over, stay down. <laughs> what? I mean, I know she loves animals, but geez, don't do it. <laughs> Don't give in. Wow, we actually got a kiss scene, although it doesn't even look like their lips have reached each other. It looks like there, there's a little space there. <laughs> but whatever, I guess I got my kiss scene that I wanted, but it still didn't feel as romantic as I would like. She seems a bit demanding and I I'm not sure. I don't like those kind of characters. Like I never really liked K Karen from like Mineral Town because of that. I don't really like bossy, bossy characters, I guess. But yeah, we did it. We got our stamp. Let's check out the profiles from this storyline as well. All right. I like the little stamp for this one. It's actually kind of cute, although it doesn't look anything like the weasel. Did it have those red little blotches on it? I don't remember the weasel having that, but okay, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> okay, let's look at the profiles. We just got um, Gwen, right? Is there any other ones? Kurt, was Woody on there? 
I don't remember having Woody's profile. Why would Woody's profile be included with the endangered weasel? I'm so sure that that wasn't there before. Lewis says we already had. I'm so sure Woody's wasn't. Whatever. We'll just read Woody's then, I guess. So his birthday's on the 2nd of winter. He's 60 years old. Damn. He likes drinking. He dislikes potatoes and other tubers. What's a tubers? What's a tuba? Is that like a YouTuber? <laughs> I don't know. It's probably something like craftsmanship related, probably. He is stern, but rather gentle to his apprentices. He is both strict and kind. He loves his granddaughter Gwen very much and is concerned for her future. Oh, that would be why he was included, because she's his granddaughter. I actually didn't know that they were related, so I guess that makes sense. But really, he really wasn't in the cutscenes at all, so it does seem a little out of place just a tiny bit but let's check out Gwen's so her birthday is the 8th of summer she likes horseback riding animals and fruits she dislikes spoiled people I see she's a strong-minded powerful woman although she may seem cold she likes to take care of others she is unforgiving towards those who mistreats animals that is definitely very apparent okay then oh and she's 18 I just I didn't notice that <laughs> Well, at least we know how old she is as well. Okay, cool. I'm going to stop the episode here for now. And we are going to be moving on to the goddess dress ending, which I'm actually really looking forward to because there are a lot of different characters involved in this one. It's not just one and it's not Gwen, which I'm kind of happy about. <laughs> But yeah, um, the characters involved in this one are Gina, and Gina's really nice, she's so shy and just seems really lovable, I really like her. We have Katie involved in the next storyline as well, and you already know that I love Katie. And we also have Dia as well, who also does have that like sort of cold standoffish attitude which I'm not really 100% with. I don't really find it easy to get behind those personalities very often unless they do have like this really nice friendly mellow side once they open up to you I like those kind of characters but I don't like it when they're just like attitude 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 all the way through <laughs> it's not very attractive to me <laughs> like in any person I don't think so yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm looking forward to it. It seems like an, a different ending as well. It's not about an endangered species. That was actually the last storyline about an endangered species. So we don't have any more of those to do. Thank God, because I was kind of getting like a bit bored of that storyline. So I'm kind of glad we're moving on to something else. So it should be fun. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons and members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. And if you are interested in donating, there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page. Alternatively, you can also click the big join button underneath every video that I create to become a member of the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you next time.